Morning guys. How are you guys doing this morning? Well, I got some good news coming on uh, on these uh, Gimmer Hawkins. So grab you a cup of coffee and uh, sit down and I'll show you where we're going with it today. So I found um, I'll tell you what's getting mighty dear is these buffalo rifle barrels. Uh, 45 caliber, 50 caliber, um, full octagon barrel with a Winchester taper. <clears throat> and uh, when you do find them, Green Mountain, they're like six months behind. And uh, they wouldn't even take an order from me. Um, I got lucky and found one um, at Pecatonica. He had one that just old stock that was laying around and it was a straight one inch barrel octagon and 458 18 twist perfect just what I wanted so that's on its way and while that's uh, coming I also ordered a piece of wood uh, so that we can uh, this uh, this one I built I'm gonna build a rifle out of it but you know the one we work been working on I'm gonna build a rifle out of it, but it it's not that stock isn't, it, it come out okay, but it's not quite gimmer looking. So <clears throat> I've got uh, I got a piece of wood coming and I will cut the stock and shape it and carve it exactly the way I want. Being so I'm going to do that, this, remember when we were looking at these uh, trigger guards, these lower ones? Well, here's the one that's on that number five action. And of course, it's fatter than the one that was on this one. I hate phone solicitors. Okay, so anyway, back what I was saying. Um, this is totally unfinished. Uh, it's def it's a pour. Um, looks like it's probably a wax casting. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off right here. I'll machine it off. It's also wider. Uh, it's rough, I mean it's wider. So I'm gonna have to machine the sides and then I'll machine this off and then I'm gonna put, we already talked about this. I'm gonna put this uh, hawking job on there. So that's what we're working on today. Hang around and you'll see me either ruin it or oh. we're gonna make it work. <laughs> this is interesting. So putting this together with this trigger guard we're trying to work with. This action is, God, probably, probably an eighth of an inch longer than this trigger guard is thick. I do not understand that. Um, I don't believe a guy would want to leave it like that because that sharp edge there would definitely catch your finger. But the only thing a guy could do is take this action and file that down to where it fits this contour but I'm gonna have to make sure all the other parts fit first before I bother with that and this this might not work um, everything I'm doing with this is an experiment <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna put some of the other parts in here and see if it's gonna work with this the so way it is I kind of totally scrapped the idea of that other uh, bottom and what I've done is I cut the the loop off of the uh, this trigger guard deal and I've been grinding it to fit here so what I'm gonna do is from the other side where it won't be in the way I'm gonna run some metal screws to hold this down here and then when I polish it all and blew it all this will all because this isn't polished this is just cast I'll polish that out and I'll polish out some of these scratches and uh, that'll give me a this will be an old or uh, this will be like a early model uh, trigger guard with this part here but 
I like it. Okay. Cut these screws off and file them. Saying growing concern. This uh, I didn't polish this curl anyway yet, and that's all going to have to be filed and polished. I'm just getting these down close enough to. Uh, so I'm anyway, down close enough to there. I uh, I ran the screws through from the inside threaded this and uh, I had to countersink them screws because of the springs and parts so that's what the that's what it's going to look like with a early style hawking trigger guard on it so well, I think once I polish this all together and blew it it'll probably all come together and uh, so I still got a there's no internal parts on here yet. <clears throat> um, I got to polish this down, and uh, you can see there's some marks on this thing that have to come off. Somebody tried to get that barrel off before I got a hold of it and used uh, hammers and pipe wrenches. But I think I can polish most of that out of there, and a little of it will just be, you know, hero marks, I guess. So, anyhow. Thanks for joining me for a cup. Uh, it started out, I started out wanting to do something with this trigger guard that didn't fly. This will still maybe be useful for something, but uh, not only did it sink too far into the action, but that groove in the center needed some work. And then I moved, did the groove and then the holes weren't lining up just exactly like they should. And so I decided to scrap that idea and go this way. So I'm going to just continue polishing on this and, and cleaning this action up and getting it ready for when the barrel gets here. And uh, once that barrel gets here, we'll be in good shape. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you having a cup of coffee with me. Uh, stay with the channel. I'll see you next Wednesday. And we'll have something else going on. Thanks much. Bye-bye.